Utah's out having a little adventure of her own. Always a happy dog when she's outside. Utah, come on, baby. Time to go. <laughs> so much for listening to commands. Come on, Utah. There we go. Good girly. Here's Alex trained here. Utah. It's a little cold. A little wet and cold. We decided to move our campsite down here in the trees. I had a rustler out of the tent. She didn't want to come out. Dive cold. I'm getting some pair of shit. A good workout today. Well, we're back down to our base. You can see that Utah here has found got a good drink of water and found a place to lay down right in the water, water and marsh. I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk about something I touched on the previous clip about hiking or doing adventures with your animals. Uh, today we learned a couple things with her. And it's always important to keep in mind your safety and your animal's safety and enjoyment. Uh, Utah, for instance, loves to hike. Uh, it's probably only one thing she loves more, and that's swimming. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, loves to hike up the trails. Uh, shale is difficult for her, uh, as is any kind of steep climbs uh, over rocks where you have to scale rocks with your hands and feet. Uh, we ran on Uncle where she was uh, pretty afraid to go down. Alex hit it, help kind of carry her down. So, as we get into some tougher peaks, those aren't going to be suitable for Utah. Uh, today, she did great. This one was well within her range. Um, she kind of came up down three or four times to check on me, and 90% of the people we ran into just loved her. Now, we did run into another dog coming down, or coming up, that had pads, uh, pad covers on, little booties. Uh, we had tried those years ago with Utah. She spent all her time chewing them off and just couldn't tolerate it. We've also tried Vaseline on her pads when we're snowshoeing, doing winter camping. Once again, she just lays down and licks it all off. Um, and we've never had any pad injuries for her, uh, other than when we were playing fetch at home. She got caught on cement. Um, other issues for her, she's got great stamina, great shape. Uh, she does love pica and marmots, so for her, top of the mountain today, getting her on a leash um, is important because if she sees one of those little guys running around the rocks, she is just driven to chase after him. And uh, for her safety, um, we don't have a leash on her so she doesn't go running off the mountain. You also have to keep in mind that uh, when you're out, if your dog is off a leash, obviously you have to follow the rules uh, for any state area or national forest or wilderness area. But if they are off leash, you have to keep in mind that not everybody's a dog person. So while 90% of the people today loved Utah, talked about her, and were thrilled to see her, and she's wagging her tail, uh, there are some people that just aren't dog people, and they don't know your animal the way you know your animal. So while we know Utah, and she's not going to hurt anybody, and she loves everybody, uh, she's total strangers don't know that. And for their safety and for the dog's safety, you have to keep that in mind. Especially younger children, uh, around dogs may have had bad experiences with animals, been afraid of dogs. Uh, we ran into two kids today that were a little frightened of her. Uh, I noticed one was uh, looked frightened just from a distance. So I held, had Utah sit and held her collar until a little girl walked by and I got to comment to the six-year-old girl that her hair was the same color as Utah's. Uh, very pretty. So you have to keep in mind again other people you're around and overall safety. Uh, adventures we haven't done with Utah. She's not been rafting with us. Um, she would love to go it. She would do that. She loves to swim. Uh, concerns on a rafting trip with her would be uh, jumping out either her claws puncturing a raft uh, or if we're in a canoe, her jumping out of a canoe uh, when she sees waterfall or a duck or a bird. Uh, that is her instinct and we've never wanted to risk having a 60 pound uh, animal jumping out the side of a canoe at any impulsive moment. That could be disastrous for all of us. So I don't know if she'll ever go on a, a raft trip. She loves these hiking trips. If you think about her safety, your safety, and everybody's enjoyment, it's a great time.